and welcome to this episode of Beth's Best. Today we are at Disney's Polynesian Villas. We are in a deluxe DVC studio. This is a resort I have stayed in in the cash room, but I have never stayed here in the DVC room. So this is a first for me, and I'm really excited to share it with everybody. So first we're gonna check out one of two bathrooms. First bathroom is the largest. Uh, it has a toilet and there's also a standard kind of shower and tub here. Perfect if you have a large group that are trying to get ready all at the same time, or if you have kids that like to take a tub, or if you're an adult that likes to take a tub. Not super deep, but it'll work. Uh, we've got one sink here, Disney toiletries, because we just checked in, and then we've got a couple of drawers for storage, which is great as well. Okay, coming back into the hallway, You've got a closet here, which just has hangers and a safe, so really nothing to write home about. No um, drawer shelves to be utilized in here, so just keep that in mind. This room does not have a lot of drawers. Now we come to the second bathroom, which is, um, I think, a bit nicer, just because I like a rainforest shower. So we've got a rainforest shower, we've got some nice kind of um, relaxing stone floor here. It's got a hidden drain, which is kind of nice. And we've got another sink, so people can be brushing their teeth, putting on makeup, whatever it is that you need to do to get out into the parks. Nice and convenient for groups. On the other side of the second bathroom, we've got the small kitchenette area. This kitchenette is smaller than what you're going to find in some of the other DVC studios, but it does still have all of the same amenities. So you've got your microwave here, you've got some glassware, paper plates, silverware, paper towels, coffee mugs. We do have a regular um, coffee maker here. There was a rumor that all of the DVC studios were getting Keurigs. Maybe that's happening and it just hasn't happened yet here. I don't know, but uh, we don't have a Keurig in here yet. And we have a regular toaster, our coffee supplies, fridge, and then a sink. So you're not going to be making probably full meals in here, but for breakfast and things like that in the room, this will work out nicely. So now we've finished the long hallway, which is probably about half the uh, length of the room. And you first got your large flat screen TV. Under the bed here, they sacrificed um, a media console instead of having drawers and things like that in some of the other rooms. We've got a pull down, a little bit smaller than a twin uh, sleeper sofa. It is long, but it's kind of narrow. So uh, certainly there are adults that could fit on this, no question about it, but that is where your fifth person in this room is going to sleep. Then you've got a queen sized bed here. One of the things that I like about these rooms are the end tables. They're floating end tables, which is kind of a nice touch. And they also have USB plugs and charge ports in each of the nightstands, so you're not kind of fighting over who gets the, uh, the better nightstand or the nightstand, period, because some of the rooms don't have one. And then over here, we have kind of our living space, a, a desk, not really a desk that you work at, but I guess you could, two chairs, a couch, which also pulls out into a queen-size sleeper sofa, and then we've got some storage here in the um, ottoman here. Now this room, we are in Tokelau, so we have a view overlooking the pool and palm trees and the end of the Hawaii building. So I'll bring you out there next just to give you a quick it is just about to start raining here in Florida, which 
happens all year round, so it's not terribly surprising, is it? We've got two chairs and we've got a um, coffee table here, so that works out nicely. Nice, comfortable chairs. They're better than some of the ones at the other DVC resorts. So that is it. You have now seen a deluxe studio here at Disney's Polynesian Villas. We are in Tokelau. We are on the third floor, and we are overlooking the quiet oasis pool. So if you have any questions, feel free to type them below in the comments. If you thought this video was helpful, please hit the like button. And if you want to follow along on my next adventure, hit the subscribe button, and then you will get notified of my next video post. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again real soon.